Hey, it's James Sean from Electrical. On today's video, we're doing a battery charger. Let's get into this. All right, so I came down to this job a probably about a month ago now, because there was like an issue with stock essentially. So the wholesaler sent out this battery system. So it's a Fox ESS battery system. Now we installed it. We got it connected up to the Wi-Fi dongle. We went to connect up the battery. Um, the wholesaler said that the battery that they sent would work with it. So I think it was a Pylon Tech battery, but it didn't. So <laughs> basically, we got everything powered up and it wasn't playing ball essentially. So on this system, it's got a separate BMS system, which is a battery management system. It's like a little box that sits on top and then you plug batteries into that in series. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be installing today. And here's a little sneak peek of an upcoming video then. So look at this, SNP. So there's some more coming on that. But basically it's a fancy looking EV charger. So that'll be coming out. Um, Probably in a few weeks when we fit it, we'll film it and we'll get it uploaded. But yeah, the look really meant you can like customize like the mid, you can customize the tops, you can have like oak, you can you can, you can have it out like basically have your charger out like solid oak and stuff like that. So it's really cool. You can really customize it. Right then, let's get in there. Right, went to the job then. So what we're gonna do? Inverters up there, Fox ESS. What we're gonna do is unpackage these. There's a BMS system and then there's uh, two batteries to go off that. So you have to wire it in series with this Fox ESS. And then these are all the old stuff that we just pulled down then. So we've got the final tech returns. And you've got the, another, again, they sent out, uh, um, again, the wholesaler said the panel tech were compatible with a Solax and it's not. So we fitted that first and then we had to pull that out, put the Fox ESS in. They said it's compatible, it's not. <laughs> so then we've pulled that out and now we're left with the Fox ESS, with the Fox ESS BMS and the batteries. So it's been a bit long-winded one, but we'll uh, we'll get there with this one. There we go. Right, let's sort of get inside. Uh, get little little battery connectors, which we'll use in a bit. Got a little curtain lug to, to earth it. Use your parallel. So your series links, so it should go post and egg, post and egg. And then this is the little BMS system, so this is a lot lighter compared to the batteries. So they're about 30kg, this is only about 10kg, something like that. So good thing about this, it's got its built-in battery breaker. See that little DC switch then, so that's rated at 63 amps. Um, and obviously it's got the founder volt DC, so that's the right one for that. Yeah, then, let's get him out, we'll get the battery out and we'll send him up there. Yeah, then, so we've got one of the batteries up here, so that's the storage system, sorry, the, the storage battery. So it's the uh, Myra HV25, so we've got another one of these, Myra HG25. And then, what have we got? Then we've got the BMS system. So we're going to stack these two, bob that on top of there and then get it wired in. So the bloke's building this uh, section out over to here. So he's got a few more feet to put in on the platform and um, make it nice and sturdy. So we're going to wire it up for here, then he's just going to slide it across um, once he's kind of built this section then. So let's, uh, let's stack these up. All right then, so let's get all this uh, set up then. Let's take these little protective nipples off. Oh, get them off. Yeah, there we go, make sure that switch is off. So then it comes with your, your batteries leads. So essentially you just connect these up. So obviously you've got your, uh, your positive lead, it tells you where to put it. So that's the battery. Uh, look. And then you've got your DC coming in. So bang that into the positive. Oh, I'm looking in. Oh, this is, does mine up then. This, this light switch is well flappy. You tap, tap it a little bit. And it just turns off. Yeah, essentially that's your that's your DC and then so I just check that then up there it says negative to negative, positive to positive, so that's that connection done. Uh, and then you've got your BMS connection, so again that goes up into your can port there. It says BMS there, so that's your can, and then here 
goes into your BMS on here. Is it long enough? Yes, it is. So we'll bang that in there, and then it's just literally just linking these batches out. So hopefully we've got enough leads because it's in the uh, parallel. It's not parallel, sorry. It's in series, so we have to go post and egg, post and egg, and back. So that's how you kind of wire up from the BMS to the batteries. I'll show you in a bit. Let's get all these bits out. There we go. That's all set up now. And then so we've got his his little uh, BMS cable in there. Then so that goes into the PCS port, and then you need to connect your modules in. So the module goes to Cam One, then out of Cam Two to Cam One again on the bottom, and then you just got your earths that that bond onto the chassis of this essentially, and then. These are done in series, like we said. So obviously, negative to your first one, and then it comes out of positive, to negative, out of positive, to this positive terminal of the BMS. And that's it, really. So essentially, we're just gonna turn this switch on, uh, hold the power button, and then this will fire into life. And then it's just setting up the settings within this charge unit here. Powered it on, and it's running. So it does know that if you're gonna reset this, you gotta wait 10 seconds um, before you can mess about again. Go. So it's starting to put thing on here then, so it's a state of charge 50%. So it's already noticed that it's got the batteries connected and the BMS is actually talking to the Fox ESS. Right, so that's set up then. So we're gonna go into the options then. So if you just enter here, go down to settings, so you can see this. Okay, settings, get in here. So the password is four zeros if you ask for it. So select your date and time, nice and self-explanatory. Work mode then, so depending on what your client wants, but we're gonna use self-use. And come out of that. There we go. Start and stop. So obviously get it on start. Uh, 400 in. So on grid, so that you wanna set this safety, so this is to whatever code for your country. Um, but it's either G98 or G99, but as it's gonna be G98, because it's less than, um, it's less than 16 amp. Go down. And what you want to go to is, all oh, this should be set up for with the battery essentially. Um, let's come out of that. What you want to go to is feature. There we go. There we go. And then what we need to do is set the CT settings. So either select meter or CT. So it's set to CT, good. So. Essentially what you got to do is send the data cable, extend the CT, so we've extended it and then we've just uh, I've actually the wiring loom because it'll disconnect it with these, these I think it was pin seven and eight is for uh, the CT. So basically there's like there's like ten pins within this connector and then they're really fiddly um, <clears throat> terminals. But essentially you put two little cards in for seven and eight and then on the other end you use those two cards to extend the CT. So the CT will be for seven and eight, and you just clamp it round your um, main line cable, and the arrow is to face the grid, and that's how it kind of measures the load for this um, for this house. So it's got PV already. So the PV producers say it's producing two kilowatt, and the house is using 500 watts. Then there'll be 1.5 kilowatt going out into the well, it'd be an exported going out into the street. So that 1.5 kilowatt, this CT clamp will measure that and then start to charge the batteries so it'll pull that 1.5 kilowatt and charge the batteries because when you basically export you get paid like 0.014p so it's less than a penny per kilowatt and you're buying it in at about 30 40p a kilowatt so you might as well save that energy instead of just losing it less than a penny and then when you want to use it when it would have cost you like 30 40p a kilowatt it's now free so that's the that's the basically that's the whole point of these battery systems, is that you can store the energy and then obviously use it later. So if, if you're a person that's out all, always during the day um, and you don't gain any benefit by being in the house for cooking and washing, that kind of thing, you can store the energy and then use it when you come home for showers and cooking, that kind of thing. So it's a lot um, more, well, you get a better return on your investment essentially. Well, hey, that's us done down here then. So I've got it all set up on his app. I'll show you the app. So the customer's got solar. Oh, this is the app then. Let's just reload that then. 
So essentially, when we plugged it in, uh, it comes 50% charge anyway. So the house was using zero. It wasn't costing him anything. So it comes 50% charge, you got some free electric there. But essentially, it takes that DC power, the inverter takes that DC, inverts it, you lose a little bit of loss because of, you, because of that inverter. Um, so it's not perfect. If you get if you put 100 in, you don't get 100 out. You might get 100 in and 90 out, something like that. Um, but yeah, essentially the DC converts to AC, and what it does is sense the load. Because I mentioned that CT clamp that goes over the the um, the meter tails uh, with the arrow pointing towards the grid. Essentially, it it will sense the export. It'll measure that using magnets, essentially, and it will basically give it that amount of energy up to a certain period so that's, that's, that will do three kilowatt output so if he's, if he's using two kilowatts the battery can output two kilowatt and then essentially um, be running off battery uh, instead of pulling in from the grid so that's how it saves it saves him money so like i said before two kilowatts being produced the house is only using a kilowatt the battery will pull a kilowatt and, and um, and charge the battery and then obviously when it's it's um it'll, it'll then discharge it essentially you know what i mean but if it's a really sunny day and it manages to charge it fully um essentially when you get home on a night and you want to cook and clean or whatever it'll basically draw that power and you're not paying 30 40 p a kilowatt um and like i said before if you export that 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 power you put into your battery if you'd have exported that you would have got paid less than a penny because you've stored it in a battery you can now save yourself like 35p a kilowatt which is really good saving so that's the advantage of an ESS system ESS stands for energy storage system so yeah yeah it's quite good it can save some money you can also get it if you get on a cheaper night tariff you can actually buy in at a cheaper rate and then you can store it so you're buying in at like 14p overnight there's this one called octopus go so if you've got an electric car you get you can get onto that tariff a lot easier so and if you've got loads of batteries battery batteries in essentially uh you can store a lot of a lot of uh a lot of power then which can be used later so you're buying at 14 pence instead of paying 30 40 pence and then as your house uses that it will basically yeah you, you, you're essentially using the you're basically using it at like 14 pence instead of 30 40 p so it saves you loads of money so it's like half part half price electrics there's case studies out there where people have just they've not even got solar they've basically got loads of batteries they've got full like the maximum you can get and then they're basically pulling in during the night but installed all these batteries and they get half price um electric and the it's about to go up again so they said there's a thing out that first from first of April it's going to go up by another twenty percent. That Martin Lewis said. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's scary times really. If, if people are just struggling at the moment, mortgages have gone up, bills have gone up, then yeah, I mean, if you got the money, it's a good investment because I think it's only going to keep going up unless uh, like the government steps in or whatever. But yeah, it's uh, well, it's the government setting the rates actually, but still, <laughs> it's not right good. Right then, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good from me, and I'll see you on the next one. Like I said at the start of the video then, we've got this nice little battery, what is it, little charger coming up, S&P, Simpson & Partner. Have a look, check them out online. They are really cool chargers. So we're gonna be doing a video on them coming up. I might even link it here if I remember to, even if I've spoke about this in this video, if I remember, I'll put a little link above my head somewhere. Oh, good. Oh, good.